Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Mariana here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this delicious cheese stuffed garlic bread. It's one of those that you pull apart and it has a really nice presentation. So if it's for a friends gathering at your place or if you're taking to a potluck kind of thing, it's a really nice option. It's quite easy to do. It just takes a little bit longer than regular recipes because uh, the dough needs some time to rise and today's actually my first time trying to make dough on my new stand mixer so let's hope for the best and the garlic bread actually goes on this pan here but whatever you have at home it works just fine it's just that this one has as I said like a nice presentation it looks really nice at the end this recipe I actually posted about like a month ago on my Instagram and it got really popular I got a lot of comments and people asking for the recipe so I just thought, why not show it to you guys through my channel? It's about two hours to prepare and only half an hour in the oven. But I promise you guys, it's worth it. And it's probably made with ingredients that you have at home. As you can see here, everything is very, very simple. So let's get baking. So we're gonna warm it up on the stove. Three fourth cups of milk with one fourth cup of water and one fourth cup of butter. So we're gonna warm it on the stove, not to boil or anything, it's just to bring it to a higher temperature. And you're just gonna stir it. The butter doesn't have to be completely melted. So on a stand mixer, you're gonna mix two cups of flour with two tablespoons of sugar with two teaspoons of yeast plus one fourth one teaspoon of salt you're gonna mix all the dry ingredients and as the mixer works you're gonna add the warm milk with the butter and water Now we're gonna add one egg. After two minutes beating, you're gonna add one more cup of flour. We're gonna decrease the speed a little bit. The dough is almost ready. So let me show you guys how the dough is looking like so far. Very smooth, very even, you see? So now we're gonna cover the bowl with a wet cloth and we're gonna let it rise for about 10 minutes only. It doesn't have to be too long for now. We're gonna start cutting out the mozzarella. That's gonna be the filling of the bread. So you need about 450 grams of mozzarella cheese. Now that the cheese is cut, we just have to coat this pan with a little bit of butter. And we just set aside. And now is the time to make the topping. We're gonna chop it up some garlic. Uh, three is enough because for this recipe, we're also gonna put some garlic powder. We're gonna chop it up in small little pieces. That's as small as you can. So in this little bowl here, we're gonna mix the minced garlic with about half cup of butter. Now we're gonna add one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder and two tablespoons of parmesan. And I like to add one teaspoon of oregano. So here's the dough, and then on a clean surface, we're gonna sprinkle some flour. We're just gonna knead for about two minutes. The 
Now we're gonna cut it in little balls about this size. So now we're gonna roll the little balls and open them for the cheese. We put the cheese inside and we close them. Like this. And then each little ball, you're gonna dip in the butter. You're gonna roll it out. And you're gonna put it in the pan. With all the little balls ready, we're just gonna dip them in the garlic mixture. And we're gonna sell it in the pan. Now that all the little balls are dipped and in the pan, just gonna sprinkle a little more of Parmesan cheese. And set aside for about 45 minutes to an hour until it's double the size. The dough has risen, as you can see, it's almost filling up the pan. This is the perfect time to put it in the oven. So I preheated the oven to 375 Fahrenheit and we're gonna leave it there for about 30 minutes. the bread's ready as you guys can see it looks beautiful it's like a little bit golden but it's very very soft I don't know if you can hear the crunchiness of it I think it turned out to be pretty good now I'm just gonna try mm. you see the cheese I'm so happy about it. One, two, three, four. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys can make it at home. You can change the topping, you can change the filling too. Just make sure that you don't put nothing too wet for the filling. But for the topping, you can use with olive oil, as I said, you can do with coconut oil too. So yeah, you can just play around and see what you can make. Yeah, it's cheese. because I just wanted to see how it would like because if you don't have that specific pen at home you can also do a square one or a rounded one it looks pretty nice actually I actually really like the result of this one too uh, here is another full recipe exact same ingredients pretty much the same thing I just changed the pen so you guys can see so that's it for today I hope you guys like the recipe and I hope it's something that you guys can make at home. Just have fun creating your own version of it. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep on watching more videos about motherhood, some makeup tutorials, and now baking. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you next time.